Now, I will take an example circuit and calculate its z parameters. I will take the same circuit that I took for the y parameter example, so that you can relate different parameter sets for the same circuit. Okay. So, this is the circuit I took and I have two cases for measurement. One in which port 2 is left open circuited and a current source is connected to port 1 and in the other case where port 1 is left open circuited and a current source is connected to port 2. Okay. So, extremely simple circuit very easy to analyze. So, I 1 flows through these two resistors. Okay. So, the voltage here across port 1 is the series combination of these two resistors 2 kilo ohms times I 1 whereas, the voltage across port 2 is I 1 times this resistor 1 kilo ohm. Okay. And in this circuit, no current flows through this 1 kilo ohm because it is in series with an open circuit. Okay. So, the voltage drop across this is also 0. All of this I 2 flows into 1 kilo ohm giving you a port 2 voltage of uh, 1 kilo ohm times I 2 and the same voltage appears here and that is 1 kilo ohm times I 2. Okay. So, from the first circuit in which we have port 2 open circuited, we will get Z 1 1 which is V 1 by I 1 with port 2 open circuited I 2 equal to 0 to be 2 kilo ohms and we also get Z 2 1 which is V 2 by I 1 with port 2 open circuited to be equal to 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So, Z 1 1 is nothing but the resistance looking into port 1 with port 2 open circuited and if you look into port 1 you will see the combination of these two resistors in series which gives you a 2 kilo ohm resistance. Okay. Now, let us go to the other circuit and from this we will get Z 1 2 which is V 1 by I 2 with port 1 open circuited which gives you 1 kilo ohm and Z 2 2 which is V 2 by I 2 with port 1 open circuited which is also 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So, these are the 4 Z parameters and Z 2 2 here is nothing but the resistance looking into port 2 with port 1 open circuited. If you look into port 2 you will see this 1 kilo ohm and this 1 kilo ohm which is hanging. So, it does not contribute anything. So, the looking in resistance into port 2 is just 1 kilo ohm and that is what we see. So, the Z parameter set of this particular circuit is 2 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm. Okay. And you can verify for yourselves that this Z matrix is the inverse of the Y matrix which you derived for the same circuit in the earlier example. Okay. Now, let us make the circuit slightly more complicated by adding a control source. Again, I will take the exact same example I took earlier, so that you can relate different parameter sets for the same circuit. Port 1, port 2, 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm and 2 milli siemens. Okay. So, I will go through this analysis quickly because circuit analysis by now is familiar to you. Okay. So, you can work this out yourselves and compare your answers to what I derive. So, again I need two cases one in which port 2 is open circuited a current is applied to port 1 and 
another case where port 1 is open circuited and a current is applied to port 2. Okay. So, now we have a slightly more complicated situation with the control source. Now, if you observe this circuit I 1 flows through this 1 kilo ohm and then the parallel combination of these two. So, the voltage drop across this is 1 kilo ohm times I 1. The current through this resistor is I 1 minus whatever current is flowing through the current source which is I 1 minus 2 milli Siemens times V x and in this circuit you see that V x equals V 1 okay, because the voltage here is V 1. So, V x is the same as V 1. So, I will write this as I 1 minus 2 milli Siemens times V 1. So, that is the current flows over there. So, the voltage drop across this is this current times 1 kilo ohm which is I 1 times 1 kilo ohm minus 2 milli Siemens times 1 kilo ohms times V 1 which is minus 2 V 1. Okay. And also the voltage V 2 is nothing but the voltage drop across this 1 kilo ohm resistor. Okay. So, I will write these two equations. First of all V 1 equals the sum of voltage drops across this one and that one which is 1 kilo ohms times I 1 plus 1 kilo ohms times I 1 minus 2 V 1. From this we see that V 1 is 2 thirds kilo ohms times I 1 and we know that V 2 is the voltage drop across this. So, V 2 is 1 kilo ohm times I 1 minus 2 V 1 and V 1 we have already calculated. So, it is 2 times 2 third kilo ohms times I 1 which is basically minus 1 third kilo ohm times I 1. Okay. And with uh, port 2 open circuited we know that V 1 is nothing but Z 1 1 I 1 and V 2 is nothing but Z 2 1 I 1. Okay. So, Z 1 1 is this quantity and Z 2 1 is that quantity. Okay. So, you need a little more calculation and I went through it quickly, but uh, the analysis of the circuit with the current source I 1 applied is routine by now. So, you should be able to do this yourselves okay. and I will do it for the other case as well. Let me copy over this part of the circuit. port 1 is open circuited. Okay. Now, again the current through this 1 kilo ohm resistor is 0 and V 2 equals V 1. Okay. In this particular circuit, this is not true in general of course and also V x happens to be equal to V 1. So, now the current through this 1 kilo ohm resistor by the way through this it is 0 and through this vertical 1 kilo ohm resistor is I 2 minus whatever current is flowing through the control source which is I 2 minus 2 milli Siemens times V x which is the same as V 1 which is also the same as V 2. Okay. So, I am going to write that right away. So, now this voltage drop V 2 is the current through this 1 kilo ohm resistor times the 1 kilo ohm resistance. Okay. So, V 2 we get it to be I 2 minus 2 milli Siemens times V 2 times 1 kilo ohms and from this we get V 2 to be 1 third of a kilo ohm times I 2 and we also said V 1 is the same as V 2 which is also 1 third kilo ohm times I 2 and we know that with port 1 open circuited V 2 is nothing but 
z 2 to i 2 and v 1 is nothing but z 1 to i 2. Okay. So, this is z 1 2 and that is z 2 2. Okay. The z parameter matrix for this circuit turns out to be 2 third kilo ohms minus 1 third kilo ohms 1 third kilo ohm and 1 third kilo ohm. Again you can go back to the old y parameter example and verify that this is the inverse of the y matrix for this circuit. Okay.